Beeble Brooks, the British tech guru. Uh, this is a solar panel that came from Harbour Freight. Um, it stopped working, so I'm just curious. Let me uh, let me just see what. Uh... Yeah, that does not want to come undone. Okay, well, I can leave that. Let me see what this thing is made of. And we have... Hmm. Let's get the right... There we go. See if that one fits. That one fits. seems rather appropriate that a Harbour Freight solar panel that doesn't work is disassembled using a Harbour Freight screwdriver. Okay. Now I want to see, and I'm pretty sure you want to see, what on earth this thing, how on earth this thing is made. And I hope there's not going to be hidden screws that I can't undo. Because if there are, it's going to be a very short video. In fact, I'm probably not even going to show the video. Um, because you and I both want success. And success seems to be rather hard to find these days, particularly with the some of the projects I've been working on. Oh, and my attempt to work with um, Upgrade Linux Mint. Oh my goodness. That ran into so many roadblocks. Working at the moment, I believe. But it should not take as long as it has to upgrade linux mint but then on the other hand i did not say i was a particularly a linux guru not guru i'm a technology guru uh, okay that's got some of them undone and i've got another another uh, one here and then i go on to the other side Yes, very, very slow. Oh, an electric screwdriver would be nice, but electric screwdrivers just seem to fail on me. They have no staying power. What's surprising me is how easily some of these screws are coming undone. And it's like... Um, It's like no effort was spent tightening them. So I'm not really surprised that this this panel has failed. I put my meter on it just now before I started filming. And uh, I got no volts out of it. There's a surprise. It was giving me three volts about six months ago which is when I took it out of circulation burning up more power than it was using okay ah let's see mm. these plastic Mm hmm Aha! There are screws hidden underneath these plastic blobs. I wonder if the plastic blobs fell out, which is why... Uh, let, me, let me pause the video right now while I get on with some more unscrewing. Welcome back. I have now undone all 36 screws. 
and let's see what's inside this panel. I have not opened this. Okay. Hmm. Quite a nice plastic bezel. Some fairly randomly and not very well attached glue stuff. And uh, ah, that's where the bezel is cracked. So we can work our way around there. Let's see. Well, it looks as though this has been put together incredibly cheaply. Um, I'm not seeing where the wires are connected. And this is rather heavily potted in places with uh, what looks like some kind of um, bathroom cork. It's, um, it's quite tough. Um, yeah. Let me pause the video again while I no, that is, yes, that's coming off. Hmm, maybe I don't need to pause the video. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, that's coming now. Glass is rather thicker than I, than I thought. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, um, I'm looking at it, and you probably can't see, but the glass does seem to be fairly thick, and whatever it's, um, it is, seems to be painted on this side. So let me pause the video while I take this apart a little bit more. And we're back. Um... I got the bezel off, and clearly it uh, it broke up when I was uh, taking it off. It wasn't in very good condition. Um, inadvertently, I pulled the wires off, and it seems that the negative was attached here and the positive was attached here. Um, the ease with which the negative came off led me to suspect that was probably the problem with this panel. The wires just were not attached all that well. And of course the flexing and whatnot and this plastic thing is just not a very good very good way of building a panel. Um, as for this, and I, I'm looking at this now, and the edge it seems to have a layer of glass at the back, then a layer of something else. Uh, it, it seems to be a sandwich layer. Glass, something else, and then maybe glass again. Um, I'm really not 100% sure what, it, what it's made of, but this is, um, it's quite heavy. So who knows? But, and this is a Harbour Freight panel. Uh, it did not last very long. It cost me about $70 when I bought it. It had a couple of years use and then it failed. Not worth the money. I bought it for looks um, and I was wrong. So don't buy a panel for looks, buy it for the power. Don't get, and this was a 15 watt panel, I've got a 20 watt panel that's actually smaller and makes, produces more power and costs less money. I think that, uh, so if you're going to go to, I don't think uh, solar panels are Harbour Freight's uh, best product. 
and their charge controllers certainly aren't. Um, anyway, I've got 36 good screws out of it, and I've had fun pulling this panel apart. And I'll see you in the next video.